Hello, I'm Suzanne Gardner. I was trained as a teacher, but for the last 21 years have been a funeral director. During that time, I've delivered training and seminars and taken the occasional funeral service, as well as conducting hundreds of funerals. I'm bringing all that experience to my current role as a funeral celebrant. Suzanne, what is a funeral celebrant? Funeral services in the past were always a structured religious affair, but not everybody wants that, especially if they don't attend church regularly or the deceased didn't attend church. Funeral celebrants offer families of the deceased the opportunity to have complete control over what is said. They may want a small religious item such as the Lord's Prayer or nothing religious at all. How do the families book a funeral celebrant? Well they don't. The funeral director will always try to book the one you want or recommend one depending on availability. If there's somebody you know, you can ask your funeral director and they will sort everything out from there. They'll book the celebrant and pay them as part of their services. The celebrant's fees are often included in a funeral plan, that's if you're lucky to have one. That means a prepaid funeral, if that's what your relative has taken out. I see. Well, where would the celebrant hold the service? More often than not, it's the chapel at the crematorium, but it can be at the graveside, in the funeral director's chapel of rest if they have one, a hotel room, a village hall, or even in the home. So how does the celebrant know what to say? The celebrant will meet up with the family members to discuss their wishes. If they don't live locally and prefer to deal with a celebrant through email or a video link, that's also possible. But what they do need to do is learn all about the deceased, because this is normally what the service will be based on. And what can families include in the service? Whatever they want. The service is usually based around the life history of the deceased, as I've already mentioned. But they can also be up to three pieces of music, some poems and readings, and sometimes family members want to say a few words themselves. This can all be incorporated. Tell me, how long is a funeral service, Suzanne? This depends on the venue. If it's in the crematorium chapel of rest, there's a limit of about 20 minutes. It is possible if families feel that this isn't enough time to ask your funeral director to book a double slot which gives you 40 minutes. Um, if it's in a private venue then it can be whatever time you would like it to take. And to summarise, I think it's really important that families have the service that they want and I'm here to ensure that. Remember though that the funeral director books the celebrant. If you do have any questions, you can email me or complete the form on my website and I'll do my very best to help in whatever way I can. Thank you very much for watching.